Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make freezer-friendly breakfast burrito packs. This recipe is part of my four weeks to fill your freezer series. I have blog posts on this and I have videos, so make sure you check out the playlist and the post in the description below. So how many times have you guys made burritos for your freezer, whether it's breakfast burritos or any other kind, you get them out and put them in the microwave and then when you eat them, like the ends are super hard and it's still cold in the middle. I, it's happened to me so many times and it just drove me crazy. So for this recipe, I decided to turn this into burrito packs instead of actual burrito Burritos, which means that instead of putting them in actual burritos, I put them in little baggies or in containers to stick in the freezer. And then you can thaw them in the fridge the night before, or you can get them out frozen and heat them up that way, but then you can put them straight into the tortilla. So you won't have any hard tortillas, you won't have any frozen middles. These are amazing. And what's cool about this recipe is that you can tweak it any way you want. If you want to add extra eggs, if you want to add extra sausage, if you want to use another kind of meat, if you want to add vegetables to it, the possibilities are endless. And I'll show you a few different variations that you can use in this recipe as well. So let me show you how they're made. So first we'll start by cracking eight eggs into a large bowl. The great thing about burritos is that you can add pretty much anything to them. You can use any amount of eggs. You can use whatever kind of meat you want or no meat at all. You can add different kinds of cheese, even vegetables to it. So I'm going to show you a couple of different variations that you can do with these. Next we'll add a half cup of milk and then some salt and pepper and then we will mix this together. So I don't know about you, but whenever I make burritos and put them in the freezer and I get them out frozen and try to reheat them, the edges, the ends of the burritos get really hard and crunchy and then the middle of the burrito stays frozen. And I don't like eating them that way, obviously, as you probably don't either. That's why I like doing them in little bowls or little baggies and freezing the mix individually. That way all you have to do is heat it up and put it on a tortilla and then eat it. So here's an example of one variation you can use. You can use any kind of meat like ground pork sausage, ground turkey sausage, I actually had this turkey smoked sausage that I'm going to chop into small pieces. Now we'll use that instead of the ground sausage that I usually use. And if I can be perfectly honest with you, I didn't really plan to use these sausages. I use Walmart's grocery pickup and I had ordered a roll of ground turkey sausage, but they were out, so they substituted this instead. Not sure that normally I would have gone for something like this. But, I mean, it's still sausage. I'm putting it in burritos, so it'll still work. And it cuts the cooking time down by quite a bit because these are already fully cooked. So instead of having to cook the ground sausage for a long time, you really just have to heat these up on the skillet and then they'll be done. So since these are slightly larger, I'm going to cut these in half a little bit at a time. That way they're smaller and will fit better in the burritos. I'm going to go ahead and add these to the skillet and start cooking them. So as you can see, I've got the sausage kind of heating up here on the skillet. And I've got this one heating up right now for the scrambled eggs. That'll just take maybe a minute to fully cook those. Now let me show you a variation real quick. Like I said, there's many different ways that you can make breakfast burritos. And I like to add vegetables to pretty much any of my breakfast, whether it's spinach to my scrambled eggs or like peppers or anything like that. This right here is just a small cauliflower that was riced in my food processor. You, so you can buy a fresh cauliflower and rice it yourself, or you can just buy a bag of already riced cauliflower. But I'm going to add this in with my scrambled eggs and just kind of heat that up a little bit and that will add a lot of bulk to the recipe. So you can eat more for a little bit less calories and you're getting all the extra vitamins and nutrients from the cauliflower. It's a win-win all around. And I like to spray my pan with a little bit of cooking spray before scrambling my eggs. I just kind of feel like it scrambles better. And then from here, just slowly keep stirring the eggs until they're fully scrambled. 
And then you can add the rice cauliflower if you choose to use that. And just cook it for maybe a minute or so. The cauliflower is really small, so it doesn't take very long for it to heat up and get softer. Okay, now that the eggs are still kind of wet, but they're mostly cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add all the rice cauliflower. This is maybe three or four cups worth. I'm just gonna add it all in. Now remember, you don't have to use vegetables in this. You don't have to add cauliflower, but look at how much it added to these eggs. You might not be able to fit all the mix into the burrito. You might have to do like, eat half on the burrito or and half on the side or something. It'd still be good. So now that that is done, I'm going to add the cooked sausage into here and just mix that together. Might be easier actually to use a spoon now rather than the spatula. But the eggs are fully cooked and the cauliflower, like I said, it's really small so it, it didn't take very long for it to heat up and get a little softer. All right, we are now ready to add these to containers. So at this point, you can use either like sandwich bags or snack bags, or if you would rather have the non-disposable method, you can just use regular food storage containers. These are just Rubbermaid containers, your standard containers, and they do freeze well. So if you plan to not eat this during the week, you can easily put all this in the freezer. And the serving size will definitely vary depending on how much you like to eat. The original recipe that I did served 10, but if you like to eat a lot or if you're trying to up your calories, you can lower the serving size and turn it into eight or even six servings like I am right now. Down in the description, I'm going to try to include calorie counts just depending on how many servings you want to get out of it. So I'm actually going to start with a half cup I'm gonna add half cup at a time to these containers and then I'll just keep going until all the mix is gone. Yeah, so I already did a half cup in each of these six and it looks like I have enough to add a half cup to each again. So one cup of mix per burrito, that is quite a lot. However, like I said, unless you have like a really huge tortilla, which we don't, you could do half in the burrito and eat half on the side as like a bowl. Or you could just eat this as a bowl. You don't even need the tortilla. That would be like more of a low carb option. All right, so we have all the mix in the containers and now you wanna wait maybe a few minutes for this to cool off before you add the shredded cheese on top. I have let these cool for about 15 minutes or so. So now I'm just going to add about two tablespoons of shredded cheese onto each container. This is actually hand shredded cheese using a grater, but you can buy regular shredded cheese if you want. I actually like the texture of hand grated better, and you can use just like a regular grater or you can use your food processor. I find that it only takes me like a couple of minutes just to grate a block of cheese. So it really doesn't take all that long either way. Now these are ready to go in the freezer. So what you would do is just put a lid on top once these have completely cooled, put them in the freezer, and then you can either get it out overnight to thaw, or you can get it out straight from frozen, defrost it for a minute or two, and then microwave it on regular heat just until it heats up. Then you can put it either on a tortilla or you can eat it plain. I'm gonna be making videos for all 20 recipes in my four weeks to fill your freezer series. Check the link in the description for the playlist so you can get caught up. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what are your favorite breakfast burrito fillings. I'm a huge fan of just like eggs and sausage and cheese and sometimes the rice cauliflower like I showed you, but I'm also open to suggestions. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be notified when I post my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later.